Mike, an old white man, looks me in my eyes and asks me why black men don't want to be good dads. I feel my breath catch. My fingers curl into a fist, every muscle in my body begging to answer with might, with fight. See, there's this home video where my dad is lying on the couch, six month old me on his chest, and I start to cry. And he picks me up, gives me a gentle kiss on the cheek, and holds me upright with a shh, 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 shh. With my feet planted on his chest and his hands holding me upright, he is doing everything he can to keep me calm, to keep the hunger at bay. Now, I watch home videos and wonder what little black boys are supposed to do when there is no one there to hold them up when the hunger gets to be too much. See, I have never met a black man who wanted to be a bad dad, but plenty that didn't know how to be anything else. Either absent or abusive, they fall short of fatherhood and the teachers of trauma. See, my dad's dad worked hard but sometimes hit hard too. A Southern man better understood by his hands and he raised five kids this way. And on the day that he raises his fist to his wife, my dad jumps on his dad's back, all lightweight and lanky pounding fists against father cause my dad knows what's worth fighting for. See, my dad taught me what's worth fighting for. So on my 16th birthday, when I am crying in bed because my girlfriend is carrying our baby inside of her like an unexpected gift, I find the strength to tear up the receipt. No, returning to cinder, I will fight for this fatherhood. And even though, even though God's postal service permanently delayed that delivery, I can tell you with complete certainty that I would have died fighting for the title, Good Dad.